In today's webinar, we will be discussing using Fidelity data to action plan. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to collect and evaluate data to inform decisions and assist with action planning. Schools are constantly making decisions and taking action. The effectiveness of the actions we take depends on the quality of the questions we ask. Using data collection instruments that fully inform your decision making will guide the precise action steps that help you achieve your goals. Let's refer back to the three critical features to a successful framework of implementation. The systems are the keystone feature and ensure sustainability. The best practices support all students' academic behavior and social-emotional learning. And the data is the piece that drives decisions and guides the problem-solving process. This is the feature that we will be discussing today. These three critical features work together to promote positive, predictable, and safe environments for everyone in all school settings. Remember, positive interactions predictability, and safe environments are all aspects of positive school climate. Fidelity data is collected to ensure the entire framework of systems and practices is being implemented with fidelity. You have already learned about the systems and you will learn more about the practices in the next lesson module titled Universal School Climate Best Practice. In this lesson, we will go in depth on evaluating the fidelity of implementation and how to use this data to drive the action planning for continued growth. So let's start by looking at what is fidelity. Merriam-Webster defines fidelity as accuracy in details, exactness. So when you're thinking about fidelity of implementation of a PBIS or MTSS framework, Think about the details and how closely they are aligned with the research-based PBIS framework. When these frameworks are created, planned, and executed as designed by the PBIS framework, evidence shows that it is equitable and successful for all students. Implementing with fidelity is critical for the success and sustainability of the PBIS framework. If our effectiveness depends on the questions we ask, then what should we be asking? These are two important questions that will guide your team in assessing fidelity. Is the team implementing the components of the system as intended based on the action plan and specific task items? Your action plan is the guide that you will create and is based on research. By implementing with this guide, you will set your team up for success. The next question is, is school climate staff implementing the components of the system as intended after being trained? Once the framework is in place, the team will train, train all school personnel to begin incorporating the MTSS framework into their daily routines. The team will need to check in and make sure the teachers and staff are implementing consistently and with equity. There are several tools that can be used to assess fidelity. Action plans are created and followed throughout the entire process of implement, implementing MTSS. Make sure your action plan is up to date and driving your systems and practices. Classroom and school-wide observations give insight into the fidelity of implementation around the building. This is a great way to see if your framework looks the same in all locations of the building. School climate surveys can give great feedback on the perceptions of the school and a unique perspective on strengths and areas of need. Often, the students and faculty have the most valuable information. There are copies of the school, student school climate survey and the personnel school climate survey located in the Using School Data and Planning Guide to Implement Prevention and SEL Programming Lessons. Finally, the school-wide positive behavioral interventions and supports tiered fidelity inventory called SWPBIS-TFI and the Oklahoma Tiered Intervention System 
of Support Fidelity Assessment. The example we will be focusing on today is the Tiered Fidelity Inventory and how it can be used to measure fidelity and assist with action planning. The TFI is a research-based evaluation tool that measures how aligned the school-wide PBIS is to the core framework of systems, practices, and data. The action plan available in the Using Action Plans, Agenda, and Roster sections of this course is aligned to the TFI and will help your team create a framework that is proven to be effective. The TFI sh should be given by an external evaluator if possible to get the best results. You can use the TFI to evaluate all three tiers of PBIS or you can evaluate them all in the same day. Often schools will begin implementing at tier one. When they have achieved 70% fidelity they will begin implementing at Tier 2. The TFI can guide this process. This is an example of one feature of the Tier 1 PBIS TFI. The feature is a specific aspect of the PBIS framework. The TFI includes possible sources where the evaluator can get the information. This helps the school see items that can be created to guide the implementation of PBIS. Finally, the TFI has three scoring options. A 1 means the feature is not being implemented. 1 means partially implementing. And a 2 means the feature is fully in place and being implemented consistently. Remember, back to the team composition lesson. All the considerations mentioned in that lesson are listed in this feature. If you include representatives that meet all of these needs and the attendance is better than 80% at your meetings, you will receive a 2 or fully implemented for this feature of the TFI. In this lesson, you can access a copy of the TFI data collection sheet. This is a Google sheet that has multiple pages and organizes the information in color-coded charts and graphs. This sheet will help the team analyze the data collected from the TFI. The sheet can be used for multiple administrations and helps, see, helps you see trends over time as well. These are a few examples of the graphs that will assist your team in evaluating the data from the TFI. The green, yellow, and red graph shows the implementation at Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3. This team has met the Fidelity implement, Implementation Goal of 70% fully implemented at Tier 1 because they have an average of 83% implemented. They, however, have not met this goal for Tiers 2 and 3. The second graph shows fidelity on each of the three subscales the framework, that the framework referenced throughout the module, teams or systems, implementation, practices, and evaluation data. And then the fourth bar is the mean for Tier 1. You can tell this team has an average of 83%, which comes from 100% on teams, 83% on implementation, and 75% on evaluation. This team may want to look at their evaluation features as areas of continued growth. Graphs help the teams see areas of strength and areas of need, and they are able to easily dig deeper to create action plans and goals for improvement. Once you have completed the TFI and are ready to begin using the data to plan your team's next action steps, here is a guide to relate your data to the action plan. First, in any area your school scores a 2, this is a big success and should be celebrated by the team. Just like students, we need to acknowledge our good work. Then, ask yourself, is our current plan and how we are implementing sustainable? If yes, mark this area on your long-term action plan as complete. If the answer is no, create action steps to ensure that your team and school will be able to continue implementing for years to come. 
Next, you will want to look at the areas that you scored lower. Often looking at ones will give you quick action steps that will help move the feature to fully implemented. Begin by identifying two or three specific things that your team can do to move to fully implemented. The TFI is a great resource for action steps ideas because of the detailed list that it gives. This is an example of an action plan. You will start by identifying an area that your team would like to focus on and the current TFI score. This shows the level of implementation. Then you will want to name two or three action steps that your team can do to meet implementation and sustainability. These steps should be specific and attainable within a few weeks or months. Then you will identify the goal date to accomplish these tasks. Identifying a goal date helps you focus on solutions and make sure your, game, your goal is attainable. Once you meet your goal, pull the TFI back out and begin the action planning process again. Notice that when you bring up scores that are ones, often you will see other features that scored zero go up as well. Here are some things to remember. The action plan is a guide to achieve your goal of implementing the framework. It provides structure and helps the team stay accountable to the fidelity of the framework. Data must be used to ensure successful implementation and sustainability. Again, there are several resources that you can find in this lesson to help you use fidelity data to guide your action plans.